Hello, true believers. I'm High Hill Knight. Welcome to my channel. These are my non-spoiler thoughts on Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Now, going into this movie, I had mixed feelings. Uh, first of all, you know that whole idea of maybe there might be superhero fatigue coming up in a few years? Well, I've been watching Spider-Man in one format and another for most of my life. I'm talking all the way back to the original Electric Company, <laughs> okay? And so long before there were multiple Spider-Man and future Spider-Man and female Spider-Man and different suit Spider-Man, I've been watching Spider-Man on TV or reading the comic books, or, you know, over and over again uh, for much of my life. So right there, I already have a mixed bag when it comes to the character of Spider-Man, along with the lore that comes with Spider-Man. So when this movie was announced, it's going to be, okay, here's the Miles Morales Spider-Man. All right, great. But there was a trailer where you see a glimpse of Peter Parker, and I'm thinking, wait, I thought this was the Morale, Miles Morales Spider-Man. Well, so okay, well, maybe he's just, Peter Parker's just in there for a little bit just to show him the gross or something. Or maybe it was like, you know, just at the end of the movie. But no, uh, you learn that Peter Parker is going to be throughout the whole film in the trailers. I'm like, well, I thought this was the Miles Morales movie. And then that Peter Parker is just this bum. He's like this loser. He's like this guy who who's been, I guess, doing this for years and still hasn't gotten his act together? What? And next thing you know, there's not just Peter Parker, but there's going to be Spider-Gwen, and there's going to be Spider-Ham, and there's going to be Spider-Noir, and there's going to be that Japanese Spider-Girl. It's like, I thought this was the Miles Morales movie. It's like, haven't we learned from all these other superhero films that Sony has made that when you put in too many uh, characters or too many villains, that it spoils, the, 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 that messes up the movie, that it, you know the movie tends to crumble? So yeah, and then the animation style. I like Selv's animation style, but when the uh, trailers were coming about, the colors kept changing, and the animation was frantic, and animation style kept glitching in and out. It was like... What what is going on? I, I don't like this. I don't like this frantic, randomly changing thing. And personally, my eyes are starting to get a little lower. Now. Like, I'm entering middle age, so I'm going to need glasses uh, soon. So yeah, I was just concerned. I wasn't even going to be able to physically watch this movie. And I don't know how people with like say uh, epilepsy or something like that will watch this movie. So yeah, going into this movie, not a mixed emotion. But coming out of this movie, I enjoyed it. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Had a lot of fun, had a lot of excitement, had a lot of great action, and it is the Miles Morales movie, despite all those other Spider characters, despite those other villains, despite having to introduce this uh, slightly different New York world. And I do like how they have little hints about how this is an alternate world, like our New York police department is called NYPD, and in that world, the uh, letters are changed a little bit. So I do love that uh, world building. It does do very well, good world building, despite all of these craziness they have introduced. Uh, and even the way they introduce the other spider people is very funny, very hilarious. It's like one of the best running jokes I've seen in a long time. So yeah, the animation was fine. The character was fine. And even the music, the music was cool. It has a lot of hip hop, a lot of R&B, a lot of, uh, you know, different kind of music that you would normally wouldn't hear in a superhero movie. So on that front, it's doing well. And yes, Sony took the opportunity to put some blatant product placement throughout the film, especially uh, these Sony headphones that Miles wears. <laughs> so on that front, it's fine. There's only two things I didn't like. First of all, I am sick and tired of Spider-Man taking off his mask. I am so tired of it. I, especially when the amazing Spider-Man movies came around and he just found any excuse to take off the mask. I'm so tired of Spider-Man taking off his mask and taking off his mask. And there are moments in this movie where, like, there are multiple Spider-People out in public. It's like, there's no way people aren't seeing this. So, yeah, I, that's just something that really frustrated me about a lot of these Spider-Man movies that, that they just find a way for Spider-Man to kick his mask off while he's, you know, out and about doing his superhero thing. The other thing I hated was the design of the Kingpin. The Kingpin is like this giant black walking wall. It's just like, he's just like this giant brick. And I'm like, that just looks so weird. And granted, this is a movie with a, a, a talking spider ham guy, okay? <laughs> the spider ham guy makes a lot more sense than the giant black walking wall that is this Kingpin character. So yeah, I hate that Spider-Man keeps finding a way to, to take off his mask. And I hate that the physical design of the keep and the other of the characters is fine but uh, that really does so yeah those are two things i absolutely hate and you know just so you know there is an end credit scene uh i don't really consider that a spoiler i mean you don't want to wait all that time and not see it so yeah i let you know there is an end credit scene and that's just leave it at that okay so 
those are my initial thoughts on Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I do recommend it. It's fun and exciting. It is the Miles Morales movie, and it's definitely going to launch a whole bunch of other Spider products uh, by Sony. So you might as well uh, see this movie now and figure out what's going to be happening for the next, you know, conceivably uh, six to eight to maybe ten years. Okay. <laughs> so, all right, so those are my thoughts. Thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, or dislike, share, and subscribe. Once again, I'm High Heel Knight. Remember, find inspiration everywhere.